the Canadian Constitution. It's the highest law in the country. But for over 100 years, it didn't belong to Canada. It belonged to Britain, meaning Canada needed permission from Britain to make any changes. So, in the late 1970s, the Canadian government took steps to have it brought home. Since the Constitution affects how Canada is governed, all the provinces became involved in negotiations. This complex process took years. First Nations, Métis and Inuit, wanted to make sure their Aboriginal and treaty rights were recognized in the Constitution. This wasn't an easy task. To achieve their goal, they took action in different ways, both nationally and internationally. One idea came from George Manuel, a First Nations leader from British Columbia. He knew that to get the attention of Parliament, the people would have to reach members of Parliament directly. By working with various First Nations groups, he rented two trains to bring concerned citizens from Vancouver to Ottawa. He called it the Constitution Express. As the trains gained momentum, so did the movement. With over a thousand people now on board, the trains finally arrived. By then, with attention gained from the media, the whole country was listening. Public support grew. The call to affirm Aboriginal and treaty rights was heard loud and clear among politicians. The Constitution Express was one of many actions taking place. First Nations, Métis and Inuit groups were also forming alliances, meeting with decision makers, making written submissions and building public support around the world. Aboriginal and treaty rights were confirmed in the Constitution in 1982, thanks to people who spoke up and took action to inspire the change they wanted to see.